Hello, today we're going to be walking through the steps to uncreate a new minus 80 upright PHCBI freezer. First, we'll begin by stripping off the packing straps. Next, we'll go ahead and take our 14 millimeter socket with our drill and remove the back plates, securing the box to the unit. The next step we're going to want to do is go ahead and remove the top portion of the box. After this, we'll go ahead and remove there's three uh, side panel screws that we'll have to pull out. So now we'll remove the 14 mil and we're going to adjust over to a 10 millimeter size socket and remove these three screws. Once those three screws are removed, we're going to be able to fully remove the cardboard carton. In addition with removing the cardboard carton, we do have a few pieces that we'll have to take off. You will also notice on the front of the bag a set of instructions which also highlights the process that we're going over today. Okay, so for the next steps you're going to notice two mounting brackets on the back side of the unit. We're going to go, want to go ahead and remove those brackets to uh, free up the unit from the skid. After that, we'll jump to the front side and do the same thing with a couple more mounting brackets. On the front side, we'll remove these final two mounting brackets on both left and right hand side, jumping back to a 10 millimeter socket. Once we have all the mounting hardware removed from the skid and the unit, we're going to go ahead and take off the side panels, both left and right hand side. Without doing this step, when, this, when the unit removes from the skid, you run the risk of denting these side panels. Okay, now that the front brackets have been removed fully, what we want to do is go ahead and increase or raise the leveling feet up to the unit. This will separate the unit from the skid fully and allow us to slide the unit down the ramp. So we'll take a crescent wrench and adjust the feet. Okay, so now that the leveling feet have been raised up and we have the unit spun around, we're going to come to this left-hand side, remove the five uh, skid hardware screws, which will allow us to knock this portion of the skid off, creating a ramp. So this, the tool that I'm using here is a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so once these hardware skid screws have been removed from the skid, we'll take a couple of, of hammers, a mallet and a hammer, and we're just going to wedge that side piece, that support piece, directly outwards. So now that we have created a fulcrum, this is going to allow us to kind of ramp the unit down off the skid.
So as you saw, we used the fulcrum created by removing this side piece from the skid and we're able to slide using momentum the minus 80 off the skid. Thank you.